YouTube, how's it going? I wanted to talk to you guys today about preparation. How God sometimes prepares, he has us in this like, he can put us in the corner of this preparation phase, right? Where we don't really know what's going on, but guess what? If you think of it this way, you're going to drive yourself nuts, but just trust God and trust the process because he's preparing your story. That's why it's taken this long. Imagine that. A lot of us women out here, we have the Esther anointing. Read the book of Esther. Uh, it, it basically is this, the storyline goes like this. Um, Esther ended up marrying a king because it's kind of a brutal story, but he has his wife murdered because... She disrespected him in front of the crowd. Well, he ended up regretting it deeply. And, and God basically showed mercy on him. So he had all the all the other, the beautiful women of the town come in so he could pick him another wife. And it ended up being Esther. Well, she ended up going to do a three-day fast and asked him to save her people. And it turns out that he did. So she went from being a, a you know, a living in poverty, uh, you know, to being a queen. And that's what God's story is for a lot of you women out here. But just know that you are in preparation. God led me to read 1 Timothy. He said, he said, he said start at 1 Timothy chapter 5, right? So I have yet to do that. I'm getting ready to do that. But with that being said, it, God is building us up and learn, teaching us how to be wise. Me personally, I was raised by a man and he always had this like, you're never going to need a man mentality, right? But I do. Us women, we do. And don't squander your prime years thinking that you can be this independent woman and you don't need a man. When you get into your elder years, you're going to wish you had that good, honorable, God-loving, going, God -loving, God fearing man. But you got to allow the preparation phase to take its place. That means you're not, you're not sleeping around. You're quitting bad habits like smoking. You know, you're getting prepared for your Adam. Okay, and this is kingdom spouses, but we have to take that phase where we're isolated. God wants you to first depend on him. He wants to put you in situations where you have to depend on him. There is no going to OnlyFans or whatever it is that, you know, you've taken part in. I've never done that, thankfully, but it's a good thing that that didn't exist back when I was doing worldly things because I probably would have done it too. Who knows? But moral to the story is, it's learned it, we it, it's important that we show ourselves approved as women of God as well as for the men of God. You know, when God is ordaining you to be with a woman, especially a God-fearing woman, he expects you to meet certain requirements. You know, have a place to live, uh, you know, uh, you have to be a provider and heal from the past relationships, heal from past trauma. So you have the ability to, to trust again. And, the, and I'm speaking from my own, my own perspective too. God had to move me so far away from home in order for me to be in a position where I didn't have a choice but to trust him. You know, and there was a lot of fears that went through my mind, but God never let me down. And I praise him to this day. Glory be to God, you know. And I still have developed that trust. And I know if it's happening to me, it's happening for me, not to me. That it's God preparation, preparing me, right? So with that being said, you guys, stay strong and keep nurturing yourself. Keep allowing, allow God to love on you, to heal your heart. Say, God, circumcise my heart. That way you can come into the new covenant with him. Read, this is biblical. Google the, the scriptures. Okay? And a lot of Bible terms, you guys, I didn't even know I knew till I started reading the Bible more. I'm like, wow, I've been saying this a lot. <laughs> Turns out it was already something I knew. Moral to the story is, allow the preparation phase to take its course. And, you know... I'm in a position now where I know it's any minute, any minute now, my life's about to change. And God told me this. He said, just be ready. That means I'm, I'm already completing the tasks as a wife would, but I've, I've been doing that my whole life, but I'm willing to submit underneath a man that is God fearing. And that is 
able to lead a woman like me that has gifts, you know, somebody that's going to understand why I have to pray at 3 a.m. Somebody that's not connected to the enemy because I have yet to meet a man that wasn't somehow connected to the enemy. So, I mean, maybe I have, but not in a relationship sense. With that being said, Satan sends men or women disguised as an angel of light. And these people can create soul ties and it will ruin your life if you don't catch on to it soon enough. I love you guys. This message is for somebody. Keep going. Keep preparing yourself. Stay ready. Keep your, keep your stuff together. And it's important to downsize at this, at this time. Downsize. The less you have, the less it's going to be when God moves you around. Because you were created to be, to be able to do whatever you want. To live free. And that's why God has allowed you to tap into your spiritual gifts, the gifts that he's created for you. So you have the ability to create wealth for your own self, no matter where you're at. I love you guys, man. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, stay up. Oh, yeah. I have a website now to those of you guys that want to connect. www.purecrownministries.com. It's a live coaching website. You can book your, your um, call there. I'm doing a special for all the ones that are like in their maturing phase and the people that fully believe that are looking for answers that can relate to me on a spiritual sense and that are looking for guidance. I have a special, really special deal for you guys, the first 20 people. And the spots are filling up quick, guys. So go ahead and check it out. It is labeled, if you go into the hamburger icon, if you're on your phone, go to book online and then it'll say elders in Christ. That's it. And like I said, the spots are filling up quick. So go book your call today. I love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in again. And stay up, baby.